In the previous video I looked at something called the acoustic impedance of a sound which, of a material which I gave the letter Z and, I, and that's going to be related to the reflection that occurs at an interface. So if the acoustic impedance between two uh, tissues is identical there will be no reflection at that interface. But if there's a difference in acoustic impedance between the two materials, then a reflection will occur. So let's take a look at what happens with the pulsed uh, ultrasound transducer. Um, it emits a pulse, and this pulse travels downward, and it strikes the uh, this surface with some amount of intensity. So as this pulse is traveling through the tissue, it's losing some energy. It's getting lower uh, intensity. And when it strikes the surface, it has, let's say it has some initial intensity at the surface, at this interface. And then uh, at, if these two materials, or these two tissues have different acoustic impedances, part of the wave will be reflected. We're also going to assume this is a uh, normal or perpendicular to the, the wave is striking it perpendicular to the surface of the tissue, just to simplify things. Anyway, part of that wave will be reflected back up and part of it will be transmitted and keep going down through the next level of tissue. Now it's this reflection that the transducer is going to be able to detect and plot and, and that's going to be uh, how we generate a, an image using ultrasound. Okay, and so uh, we're going to call this one the intensity of the reflection, I sub r, and this one is the transmitted intensity, I sub t. Now depending on, uh, and it's really going to depend on the acoustic impedance, how much is reflected and how much is transmitted. So um, there's something called the intensity reflection coefficient, IRC, and that is the ratio of the reflected intensity to the incident intensity. There will also be uh, something called the intensity transmission coefficient, and that's the ratio of the transmitted intensity to the incident intensity. Okay. Now, the uh, original int the sum of both the of uh, these two intensities should add up to the original intensity. In other words, the um, if we take the intensity reflection coefficient plus the intensity transmission coefficient, um, those should add up to one. Okay, And if we treat these as, we're going to look at these as percentages qu quite a bit of the time, and so um, if I take the percentage of re the reflection coefficient and the percentage of the transmission coefficient, uh, then those will add up to 100% as another way to look at it. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at the IRC and I'm going to show you how you can calculate that based on um, this coefficient based on the difference in the impedance of the two tissues. So in this case I have soft tissue and muscle. Okay, and the, uh, and so I have I'm going to look at the, uh, right, that is Z sub M, 
and uh, z sub s t. So the formula for calculating the um, intensity reflection coefficient is to take the difference between the two impedances uh, and divide by the sum of the two impedances. Um, and then you have to square that, okay? So the difference between the two impedances divided by the sum of the two impedances squared. That's going to give you your intensity reflection coefficient. Okay, so let's do a calculation with that. Um, let's say that we'll use this example and if I uh, look up in my table I can find that the uh, impedance of soft tissue, the soft tissue impedance is equal to 1.6. Okay, and uh, the impedance of the muscle is uh, 1.7 and the units of these are mega rails Okay, and so uh, so they're pretty similar. These are pretty similar in impedance. So let's see what we get when we calculate the intensity reflection coefficient for this. So the IRC is equal to uh, 1.7 minus 1.6 divided by 1.7 plus 1.6 and these are all mega rails the units are going to turn out to cancel in this case and that's uh, squared and so um, I can do that on a calculator um, since it a difference on on the in the numerator I'm going to put in some parentheses so parentheses 1.7 minus 1.6 I could have I realized that's uh, 0.1 and I could have done that math easily enough in my head divided by uh, 1.7 plus 1.6 6 and closing parentheses and then I have to hit enter and then I have to square that value okay so the uh, result I get from this is going to be equal to 9.2 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so that's the fraction of the intensity that will be reflected. Um, if I want to write that as a uh, decimal number, I could move this over four places. 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0, 9. So at a point, at a, if you like, 0 0.0009. So not very much at all. If I wanted to compute that as a percentage, I could multiply by 100. And that comes out to be only 0.09% would be reflected. Okay, I said that the transmission coefficient was equal to uh, 
well, I, I, I said that the we could calculate uh, if we take the reflection coefficient plus the uh, intensity transmission coefficient, they had to add up to one, and so I can figure out the trans the intensity transmission coefficient. Just take this um, subtract uh, in the reflection coefficient from both sides of this formula. So it cancels from this side, and it's 1 minus the intensity reflection coefficient. And so in this case, that's 1 minus 0 0.0009, 1 minus that. And so that's going to be 0.0009. So in this case, uh, most of the wave will be transmitted from the tissue into the muscle. And only a small amount would be reflected back into the soft tissue and back to the transducer.